It's time to get this thing going. Campers, you guys have been sitting there. You've been eager. It's time to jump into it. I'm going to give you a quick, give me about 30 more seconds of your attention and we're hopping in. Quick layout of what we're going through today. We've got a warm up. We are going to warm up any camp you come to. We are always taking care of the body first. Then we are going to jump into a four quarter workout. Just like a game. Four quarters. We've got different work within each quarter. Uh, we've got a half time in the middle. We'll take brief breaks in between each quarter. Uh, and if you're lucky, we just might have a little overtime for us to end off the day. So campers, you've been waiting. I see so many people. Uh, last thing I wanna say, get active in the chat, guys. I see a few people saying where they're from. We got Belize in the building, New Mexico, Pittsburgh, literally all over the world. So comment in the chat. We wanna know where you are. We wanna chat with you guys. Philly is repping strong. Um, I love to see that. Texas in the building, Iowa, Canada, North Carolina weapon, Colorado, Toronto, shout out to Drake, New York, California, Washington DC, Wisconsin, New Jersey. Listen to this. This is, this is, we're here. Everybody, let's get to work. I love it. Y'all got me fired up. All right, campers, let's go. Back away from your screen. Grab that basketball. It's officially time to get to work. Let's go. All right, we are going to start by warming up our body. We are going to start down at our ankles and progressively move up the body. We're going to spend about eight minutes in this warm up and then we'll jump into quarter one. Campers, let's get to work. Ball's going to go right here at your chest. We're going to go feet hopping in and out for 30 seconds, trying to get those ankles nice and warm. If anyone in here has ever rolled that ankle, it's a horrible feeling and we're trying our best to prevent that in the future. Ankle flips. Let's get to work. It's time to go. In three, two, one, let's go. Feet going in and out. Feet going in and out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You guys showed up tonight, and now it's my job to push you. So if you're willing to work, I'm going to push you. I'm going to push myself as well. You'll see me here struggling and time. We're all in this together, all right? Now let's move into a little bit of a stance here. Knees are slightly bent. We're going to get into some wide crossovers here. We're only at about 70% pace right now. We're just getting warm, okay? So let's go crossovers. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. Move that ball. Move that ball. Come on, come on. Good. All right, all right, all right, 10 seconds. Really try to move your body side to side. I see Marcus Lorgan. Really try to get into that a little bit. Left to right, move that body. Three, two, one, and time. I'm watching all of you guys as you saw on JD's screen. I can see all of you. I'm gonna try to give you some feedback as we go. Let's continue to move now. We're now focusing on our hamstrings, calves, and glutes, trying to get them warm. We're gonna do an RDL, stands for Romanian deadlift, and we're gonna do a single leg version. So what we're gonna do is, some of you have been with us before and you know it, keep getting better at it. It is knee high, forward touch, and then knee back to the top. And then we'll switch legs. Knee high, forward touch, knee back to the top. Let's get right into it. I'll talk more as we're going. Three, two, one. All right, so here we go. As we're going through this, I want you to focus on control, balance. What you're training right here is some ankle stability, some hamstring strength. But if you think about it, as that knee is sweeping back up to the top, that is just like any layup just like any dunk, right? We're swinging that leg through. So we're training those motor skills right now. So keep moving through it. We got 10 more seconds. Knee high. I see you, Gabby Watson. Welcome back. Forward touch. Knee high in three, two, one, and time. All right, let's keep moving through this warm up. Again, trying to sprinkle in some handle here. So now let's go betweens, all right? Moving this ball side to side. But hey, I saw a few of you last time on that crossover, you were real stiff. You guys were just right here, not moving that chest at all. That's gonna make it difficult. I want you to get your upper body into this. So swing into each between here, okay? Betweens, 30 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Let's get through this warm up and let's hop in to quarter one here in just a moment. We'll start pulling coaches in for some feedback as we go, but let's keep working right here, getting the body loose. I promise you I'm putting you through a workout tonight. JD and I were sitting here lighting it up. We've got some strength, some scoring moves, some handle, so we're trying to prep your body the right way. Three, two, one, 
time. All right, great job. Let's keep moving. Almost done with this warm up. Let's now go into some squat slides. Kind of working on our defensive stance here, but we're really trying to warm up our quads now, as well as our glutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be down in a stance, and we're just gonna go left, right, left, right, over and over, staying low though. The goal is to stay low, engage those legs. Let's go in three squat sides, two, one, here we go. I see Ozzy Cavan in the building. We've got high level players. I see you, Salma Howard, welcome in. We've got all different ages here. Come on, let's work. We're almost done with this warm up. Then we'll get a brief word from our coaches going into quarter one, and we'll get to work. In three, two, one, and time. Okay, two movements left here in our warm up. Let's go to kind of that third progression of ball handling. We did crossovers, we did betweens. Let's go to behinds now, okay? So 30 seconds, moving that ball behind the back. I got a little bit of a sweat going, I hope you do too. Let's go in three, two, one, and time. Hey, I see a lot of you don't have your video on. If you get a chance to turn that video on, I highly recommend we are trying to watch you and give you live feedback. Here's some feedback. Kaylee Strange, really get those shoulders moving side to side. Don't be so stiff, move those shoulders. Get that body moving. Three, two, one, time. All right, last movement we've got here, and then JD, you can go ahead and bring my coaches back into the huddle, because we're gonna get a quick pregame talk before we go into quarter one. But really quick, campers, let's go into our final movement here. We're gonna go into a plank, all right, warming up our core. The ball is gonna be under one of my hands. I am going to roll the ball left to right while staying in that plank. I'm trying to keep my body as square to the ground as possible. Plank with ball rolls, about 20 seconds. We'll get a pregame speech. We'll hop into quarter one. Let's get to work in three, two, one. Let's go. Okay. Go ahead, come on. Three, two, one, and time. Really quick, before we hop into quarter one, just gonna pull in Coach Show really quick. As he mentioned, I mean, 10 different gold medal teams, my goodness. Coach Show, Walter, what is something you're telling your teams right as they're about to head into quarter one and go to battle? Don't, don't be afraid to make a mistake. You, you, if the ball gets uh, out of your hands, go get it and get right back in. Never be afraid to make a mistake. All right, I love it. That's great for us to run with right here. You're gonna see me mess up. You better mess up, because if you do all of this perfectly, you're not pushing hard enough. You're staying at a comfortable level. I want you to make a mistake, pick the ball back up, and get to work. Let's hop into quarter one of work. We're going through one of my personal favorite ball handling series. I call it the V Dribble Series. I want to first start out real quick and say, we're going to be making a V with this basketball like this. We're also going to go beside the body making a V. And now look, I get it. You're not necessarily ever going to take this dribble right here in a game. But if you are able to handle this ball, moving your hand around the side of it, moving it back and forth, you're gonna become a better ball handler. So although some of these moves aren't directly game applicable in quarter one, they're gonna make us better. USA Basketball family, let's go right hand, V dribbles. So I'm taking this ball across my body and then back, making a V as big as I can. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Let's officially get to work. It's quarter one. In three, two, one, let's go. Here we go, we're here, 100% pace. Let's go. Come on, come on, look, I lost it, I lost it. Part of the journey. Oh, three. Two, one, time. I had a bad loss right off my toe. It's going to happen. Okay, hey, we just worked on that V in front of our body. Let's now take it to the side of our body. So we're gonna narrow in our stance just slightly, and I'll turn to the side for the sake of the example. Still in that right hand, now I'm making a V dribble as big front and backwards as I can make it. Again, all about your ability to handle the ball here. Let's go side V, right hand. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, how big of a V can you make? 
How far can you take it back and how far can you bring it forward? Come on. Three, two, one, and time. That side piece is a little more tough because that ball is going out of your view. We're gonna get a chance to hit it on the left side. Let's now go left hand, front V dribble for 30 seconds. All right, let's keep working in three, two, one, let's go. left hand side V dribble now. So we're going beside that body, back and forth. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's work. you play in basketball, you've got to be able to handle the ball and take care of the basketball. I know coaches, you know, we can get frustrated sometimes with turnovers. So the more you work on your ball handling, whether you're the tallest guy on the team or the shortest player on the team, you want to be able to take care of that basketball. So um, and the way the game's played now, everybody tries to play every position. So really work on your ball handling. That's one of the skills with shooting that everybody has to do. Yep, hey, I love it. We're about to get right back to work. That's great words from Coach about how the game is evolving, right? No matter how big or tall you are now, if you want to play at a high level, you've got to be able to handle it. All right, let's take this V dribble a step further. So now, we're going to go right hand, front V dribble. We're going to stay all in front, but we're going to go V dribble crossover now. So, big V, cross. Big V, cross. Big V, cross, all right? So the usual follow by crossover. My challenge for all of you campers is continue to challenge yourself on how big of a V can you consistently make. That is going to show just how much control you truly have over the ball. V dribble crossover, let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. ourselves a little bit. I want to take this a step further. Let's put the front V in with the side V into a crossover. Again, are you able to handle this ball all around your body? So what we've got is front, side, cross. Front, side, cross, okay? JD kind of looked at me earlier when I brought this up and he was like, man, that's going to be challenging. And I said, you know what? I'm here to challenge everybody in here on this Wednesday night. So let's go front V, side V, crossover. Let's see what you got. In three, Two, one, let's go. Come on. Come on, five, four, three, two, one and time. We're crushing it. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving, okay? Progressing now to add some between the legs into the mix. We're going to go back to just a front V. So just in front of our body, we're going big V between, okay? Big V between, big V between. Staying in front of the body the whole time. Quarter one is all about handling the basketball. Let's get back to work. Front V between in three, two, one. Let's go. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and time, and time, time, okay? Excellent work. We're not gonna throw the side V in. Gets a little complicated with where that ball ends up. We'll keep moving. We're going straight into now V dribble behind, okay? So again, trying to make a big V, big V, behind, big V, behind, okay? Really trying to get command of that basketball right here, okay? Let's hop into it in three. Let's work. Two, one, let's go. seconds. Next 30 seconds are going to be a competition. So we're going to put all of that stuff that we just worked on together now, and I'm going to try to really challenge you. So we're going to stay all front beat. Don't worry about that side beat dribble. We're leaving that for the rest of the day. All front beat, and we're going to go V dribble, cross, between, behind. Okay, so watch me. It's V, cross, between, behind. V, cross, between, behind. All right? So we're just putting those three moves together. Again, my challenge is, when I watch most young people do this, as we add more moves, that V starts to get smaller and smaller, where they're just going little V, making their cross between behinds. Challenge yourself. As big of a V dribble as you can make. Let's get to work for 30 seconds. I don't care what age you are. Young, elite level player, everyone in here is challenging themselves right now, okay? V dribble cross between behind in three, two, one, let's go. competition. We're going to revisit some of these competitions in quarter four. Let's get a little brief introduction to them. So exact same thing we just did. V-dribble. Cross between behind, but now we're going to keep a score. And when we're done, you're going to go drop your score in the chat. Here's how we score it. You do that whole progression of moves and it counts as one. So V, cross between behind, I got one. V, cross between behind, now I got two. Let's see if we can get the most reps in 30 seconds, all right? Ethan Gens has already been after it. I love it. Parker, I see you, my man. Christian McCain, let's get ready to work. Let's go V-dribble cross between behind. Keep your score. We'll drop in the comments after. In three, two, one, let's go. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, ah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, three, two, one, time, time. We can go ahead and bring the coaches back into a huddle. Quarter one has come to a close. But I want you all to go drop your score in the comments. I'm not gonna tell you what I got yet, because I'm convinced whenever I say what I got, everybody just answers one score higher. So I'm gonna wait for a moment here. Oh man, took a loss in quarter one. It's too early to be taking it out. I got 17. A lot of you blew me out the water. I just saw a 30. Coach Showalter, we may have a USA basketball player in here. If he's getting 30 reps. 
Dude, she is crushing it. Hey, I love it. That closed out quarter one. I'm gonna stop talking for a moment. I'm gonna throw the mic over to JD. Great work in quarter one. All right, back to the players and campers here getting some work. I do want to follow up on what Coach Showalter said. It is just so encouraging and motivating to see all of you working out in just the most random locations. I see kids beside their bed, in a kitchen. If you are deciding to work out and it means that much to you, that you're willing to get after it in the kitchen, respect. Big time respect from one hustler to another. Proud of everyone in here tonight who is working. We're gonna give out as many shout outs as we can, but you guys came strong tonight. 107 in the house. We'll try to hit everybody and get everybody some love if we can. Let's keep moving into quarter two. Quarter two has a little more of a focus on some lower body strength. I'm a big guy about the body. I think it is so important to take care of your body and learn how to take care of your body. We see so many injuries in this sport, so many ACL tears, so much going on because the sport is violent. It's high jumping, landing, explosive left to right. If we learn how to move properly, we can hopefully prevent some of those injuries. On that note, let's get into it. We're gonna go into a squat slide with a jump. So just like that warm up that we did, we're gonna be low in a stance, legs bent. We are gonna slide and then jump and land right back into a stance. And then we slide right back, jump, land, slide, jump, land. You can challenge yourself by seeing how far you can slide and how high you can jump. But campers, the most important part, land low. Land in the same stance that you take off from. If you guys jump and you land straight on your knees, ACL waiting to happen. You are sending pressure into ligaments and muscles that it is not meant for. If there's anything I can leave you with tonight, land low. Teach your body how to take the load of a landing. Let's go squat sides and jump. Let's get into quarter two of work. In three, two, one, let's go. Slide, jump. Land low. I see you, Michael Thomas. Welcome back. In five, four, three, two, one and time. Guys, be successful in this game. You've got to be just a little bit explosive. You've got to be able to jump. You've got to be able to slide left to right. They're important pieces of the puzzle. All right, let's keep moving now. Now we're going to continue to work on our handle. We're going to get a little more into our fingertip work. So we're going to get down here in a stance. Knees, nice, low and bend. We're going to go into some low fingertip dribbles. We're going to add one slight thing to make it more interesting. I'm gonna make a circle out in the right front of my body. So right hand, low fingertip, but I'm making a little circle. Going out and around, out and around, okay? Keep the ball as low to the ground as possible. Little circle with that right hand. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on, let's work. How big of a circle can you make? How big of a circle can you make? Three, two, one, and time. I'm gonna keep the intensity high. I'm not, I, I don't care if I'm starting to lose my breath. I'm working hard here. I'm not afraid to fail in front of all of you. You shouldn't be afraid to either. So let's get right back to it. Another round of squat slides to jumps, okay? Heart rate is gonna go through the roof. We got one more set of it. Push yourself right now, let's go. If you're not here to push, I don't know why you showed up. So let's go. Three, ball to your chest. Two, one, let's work. In three, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna hit that left hand, low fingertip dribbles in circles, and then I'm gonna pull Coach Andrea in here. I'm gonna have her talk just a little bit on the importance of pushing yourself, of showing up and giving your best effort and what that can do for you. Let's go left hand, low circles out in front of your body in three, two, one, let's go. Come on. 
keep it low. How big of a circle can you make? Three, two, one, and time. I want to pull Coach Andrea in here. Just want you to speak to the campers real quick again. Just on the importance of pushing yourself, whether it's on the court, at your job, in your household, of just bringing your best self every day and not being complacent. No, coaches can't push you. That has to come from within. You gotta want to be here, you gotta wanna work hard, and you have to push yourself. Coaches are here to encourage you, to support you, but that really does come from inside. So look into yourself and be committed. You know, every time that you come out and work hard, you're gonna get better. Be proud of your accomplishments, but also be committed to it. You're gonna see the improvements if you put the work into it. All of you guys are working hard right now. We want you to keep it going. Coach Andrea, I love it. For those of you who don't know, Coach Andrea is filling in tonight because Coach Mo Boykins wasn't here and she just crushed it. Thank you for dropping the knowledge. I love it. I'm all about it. Coach can't push you. You gotta be internally motivated if you wanna be great. If you wanna be great, you gotta be internally motivated. Let's keep moving. Let's see if you're willing to push. I think toughest movement of the day, right here. Here's what we're gonna get into, USA Basketball Family. We're gonna get into a lunge. First, most important part of the lunge is I want a vertical shin up front. I, I talk about this so much because I believe in it. If you find yourself lunging and your front knee looks like this, and is out over your toe, you are compromising that ACL. You are waiting to just have a bad injury one day. So as we lunge, we want to lunge down and we want to have a vertical shin up front. My knee is over my ankle. Okay, now that's addressed. We get into a lunge. We're going low fingertip dribbles at our side. Here's what we're going to do. When I call change, we are going to change lunges and go right back in the handle. But if any of you are lower strength level and it looks difficult for you, I'm going to give you two options to get into the change. So if you want to challenge yourself, you're a little high level player, what you're going to do is, when I call change, that ball is right out by that foot, you're going to put it between your legs and then switch. Now it's in my left hand. Between my legs, switch. Now it's in my right hand. If that's too challenging for you, when I call change, you can simply pick the ball up, jump into another lunge, and then go right back into handling it, okay? You've got one or two options, but you're switching your lunge on my call, okay? I'm gonna yell, change. That's gonna be the word. So coaches, maybe no talking here for just 30 seconds, make sure they can hear my voice. Let's go right foot forward in the lunge, dribbling that ball low to the right. We're working on this explosive lunge jump into another lunge, all right? Let's go three, two, one, let's work. Remember, you can pick the ball up on the change if you need to. Change. Hey, keep your chest up. Keep your chest up. I see a few of you leaning forward. Chest up. Change. I'll turn sideways so you can see me. Change. Change. And time. Time. Hey. I know that's challenging. I know that's challenging. It wouldn't be right if I didn't push you just a little bit tonight. Even if you were just doing that terribly wrong, it's okay. If you're trying it, if you're challenging yourself, you're gonna get somewhere and you'll pick it up with time. All right, going into our low fingertip ball handling movement that we're pairing in here. Last thing we got and the quarter two is over. We're not even doing another set of those lunge jumps. That was excellent work. Let's finish here with a little figure eight around the world. So I'm out and around my toe, coming up through the middle. Out and around, coming up, out and around, okay? Making a figure eight around both legs. Last thing we got in quarter two, let's get to work. In three, two, one, there we go, let's go. JD giving me some energy here in the studio. I love it. Come on. Come on, come on. Going into halftime next, going into halftime, let's work. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Quarter two comes to a close. Hey, moving into the third quarter of work, grab your basketball. We are now going to move into some scoring moves. I'm going to tell a 30 second brief story and then we're going to jump into it. So, Jason Tatum, who Coach Showalter has referenced, who went up through the ranks of USA Basketball, is an absolute stud. I'm a huge fan, personally. Uh, I was fortunate to do a podcast last week with his trainer, Drew Hamlin, who works for Pure Sweat Basketball. If any of you have not heard of him, 
probably one of the most well-renowned NBA trainers in the world, works with uh, Bradley Beal, uh, Kelly Oubre, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, and he told me a story about when he first started working with Jason Tatum. He was 13 years old, and he said for the first five workouts, all he let Jason Tatum work on was his jab step. That was it. Just jab step. Five workouts. Five hour-long workouts. All he did was work on the jab. He said he showed him some film of Michael Jordan, of Kobe, and so five workouts were down, and he's like, dude, uh, Jason Tatum was like, Drew, I, I want to do some stuff. He saw Drew training Bradley Beal and they were doing cooler stuff. And so Drew was like, okay, okay, I'll let you go jab step into a one dribble pull up. And then they did that for three more workouts. They did not shoot the basketball for eight workouts, he said. For the first eight workouts, they didn't shoot the basketball. And he was speaking to Jason Tatum's willingness to master the fundamentals. And now you look at a guy like Jason Tatum, he's got every tool in the toolbox. He can do it all offensively, but it just shows that he built it the right way. And on that note, we are gonna move into some Jason Tatum inspired jab step work. I'm gonna let you go into one dribble. I'm not gonna keep you to just the jab step. We're gonna progress a little bit, but let's hop into it and keep that in your background, in the back of your mind, that one of the best offensive players in the game today started right here in perfecting this. Let's get into it. We're gonna go into a regular jab into a one dribble pull up. Now here's how it's gonna look. We are gonna start, we'll start with the ball on our left hip. We're in triple threat, the ball's on our left hip. As I jab, I'm gonna take the ball from my hip to my knee, hip to knee, and then I'm gonna go hip to knee into a one dribble shot, okay? So right now, we should all be jabbing the same direction, jabbing to our right, and when we go into this shot, our right foot should jab, and then right foot comes across into a right left footwork, and then we'll just pause right there. So we'll pause right here like we're about to get into that shot, and then we'll back it up and we'll jab into that one dribble again, okay? Take that jab from hip to knee. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. You jab in the same direction every time, every time, same way. Hip to knee, hip to knee. In three, two, one. All right, pause for just a second. We're just gonna switch ways with it now. Now balls on my right hip. I'm jabbing to my left, hip to knee, and then it's gonna be left, right footwork into my shot. Let's hop right into it. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, and time, time. Okay, great job. Now let's talk about a few different variations of jabs, depending on what the defender is giving us. For this next jab, let's act like you've got a low defender. Uh, good Mike Jones, he's up in ya. He's just getting into your belly. One of those low scrappy defenders. So we don't necessarily want to jab right in front of them. We're gonna go an up high over the top jab. So now the ball is gonna go from my hip not to my knee, but it's gonna go hip to shoulder, okay? Hip to shoulder, and then I bring it back over into that exact same shot. Remember, the defender is low right now, so we're jabbing up over him and then going into our shot. Taking that ball from hip to shoulder. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. Hip to shoulder. I see you, Carter. Got mom out there teaching. I love it. Three, two, one, and time. I just heard Coach Showalter say, keep the ball in tight. That was gonna be my one feedback. A few of you right now are over jabbing. You're jabbing, and that ball's ended up way out here. A defender's gonna go grab that. Go hip. Right to that shoulder, stop it, and then bring it back. Let's go the opposite direction now. 
So now ball's on my right hip, go into the left shoulder, back over top, into a shot. In three, two, one, let's work. Three, two, one. JD, don't move the screen. I got a huge shout out for Carter, Cohen, I bet your mom, whoever that is out there working with you. I love it. Great to have a buddy there pushing you. Uh, we'll pull in Coach Mike Jones really quick. Coach Jones, I just want you to talk about a jab step. What does it mean? How effective in it is it? We've watched the greatest players of all time get easy buckets off of a one jab pull up. Uh, what's your take on the jab? Well, I, I, I don't care what age you are, what era you come from, the best players from every era are the ones with the best footwork. And the jab step is a huge, huge, basic foundational part of footwork. If you look at Michael Jordan, if you look at Kobe Bryant, if you look at Tim Duncan, if you even look at like Steph Curry these days, their footwork is better than anybody else's. And they're able to do so much. Your feet get you open. So if you get a good foundation with your jab step, you really can help yourself offensively. I love it, coach. I'm a big advocate for footwork as well, guys. That's why I'm trying to specify as we jab, we're going into either right, left, or left, right footwork. As you hear from a gold medal coach, it matters. Okay, let's move into our third variation of jab. We're getting close to the end of court three here. So we jab regular. We jab high. Well, now we're going to go low at that defender. One of my personal favorite jabs. Now I'm going to take the ball hip to toe. And I am going to extend my elbows into that toe jab. So I'm here low, and then it's into a shot. So I'm taking the ball from my hip, sweeping it low to my toe, and then coming back out into a right left footwork pull up jumper. Let's get after it. Ball on your left hip in three, two, one. Let's go. Low jab, low, all the way to toe. Here we go, here we go, come on. Let's work, get that low jab, get that low jab. Go ahead, come on, come on, come on. In three, two, one, time. Great work, great work, okay? Let's just go the opposite direction now. Now balls on that right hip, I'm jabbing low to my left toe, and then I'm into left, right footwork in my jump shot. Hey, let's finish up quarter three right here. This is it, we got some great jab work in. We're gonna hit the end of quarter three, and move into our final quarter of work. Let's get to work, low jab to the left in three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, come on. Let's work, let's work, let's work. Come on, come on, come on. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. I lied, I lied. I, I don't want to be done with quarter three just yet. I want to throw in one last little advancement just to challenge everyone in here a little bit. So let's say, all right, you've been jabbing this defender all game. They're sick of you. So they really get up into your body. They're making you uncomfortable. So before you can do your jab, you need to create some space and get them off of you. So here's what we're gonna do. Everybody, take the ball, put it on your right hip. Right hip, okay? I'm going to half turn into my defender. So my left foot is my pivot foot. My right foot is going to turn forward and I'm gonna move the ball to the opposite hip. So watch that again. Ball's right here on my right hip. It goes up and over and I'm now on my left hip. What I'm doing is I'm stepping my leg in between the defender's legs. I'm trying to get them to back up, get off me, get off me. And then as I'm stepping out of that, I'm opening into a jab, one dribble, and I just got a bucket. That easy, okay? Watch one more time. Half turn, get them off of you. Open, jab, one dribble, 
go. Let's see what you guys got. So we're going to go on your right hand. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Half turn. Open, jab, go. Here we go. Everybody's in it. Everybody's in it. Come on, just a few reps here. Three, two, one, and time. Just a few reps. Let's switch sides with it now. Now the ball's on my left hip. My right foot is my pivot foot. So now my left foot comes forward. I step into that defender. I tell J.E. to get off of me. He can't guard me. Then I open up. I jab and I go into my shot. Let's get after it. Now four to five reps and we're in quarter three. In three, two, one. Let's go. with you. I'm gassed. I've been in here pushing myself. You should be gassed right now. If your heart's not racing, if you're not feeling in your legs, you haven't been working as hard as me, and you need to be. You have the opportunity in front of you to go be great. We got one quarter left. I need everybody in here to bring it. Let's get to work. I want to real quickly follow up on Coach Andrea's uh, little, little third quarter talk. I love what she said. She said, you have two options. Either you're tired and you give up, or you're tired and you push. Notice the common denominator, you're tired, period. We're working, it's hard. There's no excuse, there's no magic button. But now it gets to the point where, okay, everyone's feeling a little fatigued, who's gonna keep pushing, and who's gonna say, ah, I'm tired, I'm not gonna go as hard. That decision's up to you, and I'm really excited about it, because fourth quarter is core and competition. We're gonna do some core work, because it is so vitally important to being able to control your body around the basketball court, but we've got some a few competitions here to end off our workout today. So you've got an opportunity to push, to prove yourself, and to compete just a little bit. How we're gonna start is, we're gonna sit this basketball to the side. We are gonna go into a straight arm plank with slow mountain climbers. Okay, so we're working that core. Again, I, I like to use this example. I know a lot of you young players, Christian McCain, I'm sure he loves that jelly. Right, everybody loves the jelly. They love to get up under the rim and try to flick that ball. If you don't have a strong core, you will struggle in the air. When you're in the air and you're trying to contort your body, it's moving through your trunk. A lot of strength people call this area of your body your trunk, and everything else building off of it is your limbs. That's why we're taking the time to strengthen it. So USA Basketball Family, let's hop down into a straight arm plank. And what we're gonna do is slowly bring knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Slowly while we're going, alternating knee to elbow, which is known as a mountain climber. But what you're trying to do, real quick, I see a few of you already experimenting with it, but as you're stepping forward, your hips are coming up. You are trying to stay low the entire time and just bring that knee up, okay? Let's get into it, about 30 seconds worth. Let's work that core. In three, two, one, let's go. Slow, control that knee coming up and back. Three, two, one, and time, time, time. Man, great work. From the people I saw, I think I heard Coach Mike Jones say, way to follow instruction and that you were going slow. I completely agree. I saw a lot of people really controlling that movement. Excellent work, grab your basketball. Grab your basketball. We're gonna be going back and forth from core strength to competition, core strength, competition. Our first competition, we worked on it at very quarter one uh, earlier in the workout today. We're going back into that V-dribble crossover. V-dribble crossover, and we're gonna see who can get the most reps in 30 seconds. So after you go V, cross, that's one. V, cross, that's two. Now look, 
you guys could easily right now just make this little baby V and cross it over and probably get like 80 reps. And that's awesome. You can go comment in the chat and say you won. But my challenge for you is, I'm gonna be here trying to make the biggest V I can make every single time and I'm still gonna try to win. So you've got the option. You can shorthand it, you can do small V dribbles and you will certainly get a higher score. But you gotta look in the mirror tonight and that's up to you. So my challenge, big V, crossover, count your score. Let's go competition. In three, two, one, let's go. down and down as I see you guys just crushing me. A lot of great scores. I've seen a lot of mid-20s appears to be the theme, so I love it. A couple in the 30s. Hey, whoever's moving in the 30s, excellent job. You are moving that rock. Um, all right, I love it. I love it. All right, great work, great work. Love to see everybody competing. Let's sit that ball back down. We are right back in to that plank with slow mountain climbers. Exact same thing. Let's get back to it. Everybody, let's move down into that plank. Let's go for about 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. Nice and slow. Core might start burning a little bit this time through. Continue to keep your hips low. Come on, come on, let's work. Let's work, let's go. See you, Carter Cohen, way to work. Three, two, one, and time. All right, pop up, grab that basketball. Pop up, grab that basketball. Now, we are into the dribble between. So big V, between, that's one. Big V, oh, camera went down. Real quick, real quick, we got it, we got it. It's coming right back up. We're good, we're good, it happens, it happens. Look, we're used to it. And we're coming back. Welcome, if you can see me, hello, and we're back. All right, hey, we keep moving. We're going into V dribble between, okay? V dribble between, every time it goes between that legs, you count one, we'll keep the final score, we'll put it in the comments, let's get to work. V dribble between in three, two, one, let's go.
Three, two, one, time. Grab your basketball, USA basketball family. Let's get into our final competition of the day. We got one more opportunity to prove ourselves. We put one little last bit of work in and then we will be done for the day. If you're gonna go ahead and already shamelessly plug, we got another free work on Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Come show up if you're willing to work again. Right, let's go into our final competition here. We've got big V dribble behind. Big V dribble behind, keeping our score. Remember, it's after that V behind. Now you got one, okay? You keep, uh, keep the score going up accordingly. Let's get to work in three, two, one, let's go. I'm working, JD. Nobody beat me this time. Oh, as I say that. Pivotal loss. Oh, come on, keep working. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. My goodness, I was losing the ball left and right. I got 21, 21. Go drop your score. Drop your score. Let's see. Uh, Maxwell, right? We got Ty to 21. We will see a few 30s in there moving the ball. Woo! I love it. I love it. All right, hey. I got some bad news. Turns out JD is good with all the steals and stuff, but horrible defender. And he just gave up a game tying bucket, unfortunately. And we gotta go to overtime. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Blame it on JD. We're going in to a minute and a half plank. Our USA basketball camps loved these when we were doing them in September. We're gonna go a minute and a half, 90 second plank. You can go either straight arm or down on your elbows, whichever you prefer. You know what? 20 seconds is too easy. Two minutes. Two minutes. We're going a two minute plank. 120 seconds if my math is correct. Two minute plank. All this is going to be about is some mental fortitude. It's going to hurt. Your core is going to start shaking. Your legs are going to be screaming. But are you willing for two minutes? to push your body further than you may have thought you were capable of. Let's find out. No further ado. Let's get down into it. I'm going to go elbows. Two minutes. Let's get into it in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, I'm here, Coach Show. I'm here. I'm ready to clap. I'm ready to work. Whoever's ready with me, let's go. Hey, I love it. We're 30 seconds in, 90 to go. Whichever dad is doing it, big shout out to you. I love you crushing it. Come on, we're under a minute. <laughs> hey coaches, is anyone gonna encourage me? I'm hurting. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Come on, 30 seconds. Let's go. Who can clap it up right here? Who can clap it up in that place? Let's go. Oh, I'm hurting, Andre. I'm hurting. 20 seconds. Oh, you're right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, time. Oh, what Woo. a workout. 
Hey, I love it. Huge shout out to Amori's dad who got down there and did the plank. I love it, man. Way to hop into it. Hey, USA Basketball family, I'll go ahead and kind of give my little brief outro for a moment. Uh, I believe what we're going to get into is a little bit, we're not done, we're going to get into just a little bit of a recovery stretch while our coaches are talking. Uh, we'll pass it around the board for some final thoughts before that, um, and I'll give my final thoughts at the end of the day. Uh, so I'll throw it over to JD here for just a moment before we get into this recovery stretch. Yeah, great, great work, guys. Stick with us. All right, great fourth quarter.